Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Danny Moreno Honey Processed Honduras from Hex Coffee Roasters. And there's a box right there. And Hex, based out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and they're a coffee roaster that's actually featured on this channel a couple of times before in its earlier days, as we did review one of their coffees when we were out in their cafe in Charlotte. But in addition to that, they were featured in our first ever blind taste test rankings video, so we do have a little bit of familiarity with them, but not too much. Now the backstory behind this coffee was that it was a gift to us from our good friend Greg. So shout out to and thank you to Greg for the coffee. And he gave a couple of uh, reasons for why he purchased us this coffee. And the first of which being that this is a Danny Moreno coffee. And Danny Moreno is the brother of Mario Moreno, which was one of our top 10 favorite coffees of the year last year from Passenger. In addition to that, this is a honey processed Honduras, which is unique in itself. And one more thing that he was curious to hear our thoughts on Hex, as they're a coffee roaster I personally wanted to go back and review for a while. So I'm actually looking forward to this opportunity. This right here is day 24 of this coffee. And recipe we went with for this coffee was a 16 to 1 water to coffee ratio brewed at 205 degrees Fahrenheit through the Chemex with a medium grind. Very standard recipe, not too many adjustments were needed for this coffee. And the roast profile is kind of interesting because in the past Hex has been on the lighter side of that uh, light American for me. But this coffee felt maybe a little bit more developed than I think I'd previously experienced from them. So we'll call this one a light medium American for the roast profile. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and start discussing this coffee. Day 10, first impression, and there was a pretty noticeable and distinct sweetness right off the bat and there was an equally contrasting acidity to the cup as well but the coffee was pretty heavy on the citric tropical fruit right from the start but there was also a pretty noticeable caramel as well in the cup and it was a pretty solid start liked the first impression felt there was quite a bit of depth to this cup we continue day 12 ran through the v60 and there were some additional factors including a pretty complimentary herbal component to the cup and they have listed on here a hibiscus flavor note and hibiscus always tastes pretty herbal to me when it comes in coffee so that makes a lot of sense but in addition to that there was still the very strong citrus as well as this kind of darker caramel sweetness which we will touch on a lot throughout this video as that dark caramel sweetness is very noticeable and very pronounced in this cup of coffee Day 14 was seeing steady improvement, which is always a positive. Anytime you're seeing your cup of coffee improve, then you know that something's going right. And there were a lot of similarities to Say on this day for me, and most distinctly, Say's coffees a lot of the time taste like lemon candy. And this coffee to me, from time to time, was tasting quite a bit like lemon candy, maybe a little bit more of a sweet as opposed to a citric lemon candy, but even then, quite a bit of this tropical fruit to it as well. Depths of the sweetness can't be ignored, as this cup of coffee is multi-layered. You're getting quite a bit of different sweetnesses. Of course, there's that kind of darker caramel-like cup to it, as well as some pretty sweet tropical fruits. So quite a bit, very pronounced in that sense. We move on. Day 16, we'll say that uh, this coffee just has an abundance of flavors in every sense. There's not too much that's maybe a little bit more subdued and tame in this cup of coffee. All the flavors that you're getting from it are quite pronounced, most notably that darker citrus that we've been this that darker caramel that we've been discussing. And they have listed on here a molasses flavor note. And I could see that in its earlier days, but as this coffee has really aged, that's when you're really starting to see this, what they describe as molasses, very prominent, very pronounced, very heavy. But in its earlier days, it was maybe a little bit more on the sweet side, maybe a little bit more towards a caramel than this kind of like strong molasses taste, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But still a strong herbality in the cup, uh, leaving this pretty long and lasting finish. It was very much there present throughout the end of uh, when you were drinking this coffee. Day 18, coffee really starting to peak in terms of sweetness, high dark caramel, sugar, sweetness, still almost reminiscent of a sugar cookie drizzled with maple syrup. I actually really liked that description because that was as accurate as I could have imagined for this cup of coffee, especially on this day. Quite lingering and lasting in the finish with, with again, a very strong ripe citrus to the cup. Day 20, coffee has hit a point of consistency. As I didn't necessarily think the coffee was going to improve from this point, I really liked days 16 through days 20, as I thought that that's when the coffee was at its best. Uh, we were still getting that noted darker sweetness, as well as the listed molasses, as I said, in abundance. From this point on, this coffee just kind of becomes very molasses heavy, we'll call it. Citrus remaining the secondary characteristic, but still quite prominent. And then day 22, which was the last day of the notes we have, we've seen a slight bit of the shift in the cup of coffee is it's a little bit more heavy and robust at this time and i'll attribute that again to this molasses that they have listed on here at this point it's become by far the most dominant the citrus that was in this cup is not quite as pronounced as the other flavor most notably that of molasses of course but uh the best might be behind this coffee as i'm drinking it again here on day 24 and i still feel like that the best of this coffee is behind it as this is just getting a little bit too dark what is that dark sugar sweetness forward for me but yeah let's go ahead and put up that tasting wheel so you can see what we were getting 
and quite a few level four, so let's run through them real quick. The cleanliness, and it's a pretty clean cup of coffee. I knew that was gonna be generous. It's on the lower side of that level four, definitely on the higher side of that level three, but I still think it justifies that level four, so I'll leave it there. The finish, it does have a very lasting finish, and I've touched on the fact that there's this pretty distinct herbal finish in the cup of coffee quite a bit. On these later days, it's definitely become a lot more of that darker sugar sweetness that's coming from the cup. But yeah, it's a very lasting finish. And in theory, it could be bumped all the way up to a five, but I like it best at the level four. Sweetness, yeah, it's been sweet the entire time. I think level four is perfect for it. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect for it. Acidity, it's still a pretty acidic cup of coffee. So just wanted to note that as well. And then the citrus fruit, the level four. When I made this tasting wheel, it was on day 22. I remember that because I'm like, this coffee's not quite as, it, as good as it had been on day 20. So if I would have made it on one of the earlier days, I feel like you would see a slight bit of a shift in a lot of these things. Most distinctly, that smokiness and the, yeah, it's just actually most distinctly that smokiness because this molasses has really kind of taken a foothold in this cup of coffee and has become even more pronounced. But that one definitely wasn't as smoky up to this point, but now it's in pretty significant abundance. So that's why it's bumped all the way up to a level three earlier days of level two. But I don't think that there's too much else worth noting. The florals, yeah, they've been pretty high. The body is pretty high. Even brewed through the chemics has got a pretty heavy body. The florals, I wanna say, they had the hibiscus list on here. From time to time, it felt a little bit more like that smoky honeysuckle flavor that I get from so many coffees. I felt like that was very much in this one as well. And that's why the florals are quite high. A couple different florals that I felt from this. But for the most part, I like the way that this tasting wheel looks for when it was created. Maybe some slight tweaks or adjustments from some earlier days. But for the most part, a pretty consistent cup of coffee. All right, my overall thoughts and impressions of this coffee, I liked it. And I will say that it was a nice little break from a couple of coffees that I may have been a little underwhelmed by because I wasn't the biggest fan of the sweetness that they had achieved and reached. This one right here, there are some really nice positives and there are some things that I kind of took away that weren't necessarily my favorite. And I think towards the end, as this coffee has kind of tapered off, it's left a less than impressive finish towards this cup of coffee for something that I know was really hitting the stride on those 16 through 20 days. When the coffee was at that point, I felt like it was a really, really nice drink. You were getting so many different contrasting sweet flavors and the none of them were really necessarily overbearing and it may have been a little bit more acidic of a cup of coffee, but I felt like the balance and the different attributes that we were getting from the cup of coffee made it a pretty enjoyable one. So I really liked it on those days and while this cup of coffee hasn't left the best impression as it has kind of tapered off on these later days, I'll still say for what I was experiencing throughout the time drinking this coffee, I think Hex did a pretty nice job type of person I would suggest this coffee to. If you're gonna drink it on the earlier days, I think this coffee, I thought it was gonna be better on the later days. I thought we were probably going to be seeing the best of it here day 24 post that mark. But I think if you're somebody that typically drinks your coffee within the three week mark, this is a pretty good one. And keep in mind, a pretty high acidity, but of course that's contrasted nicely by a pretty high bit of sweetness. The citrus fruit, that tropical fruit, yeah, it's definitely there, very ripe sort of citrus that's coming from it. And in addition to that, this dark sugar sweetness is very pronounced in this cup of coffee, but it made for a very fun, different bit of sweetness throughout the time drinking it. A lot of multi-layered components to it, and that's always fun. I like that. I think I'm gonna leave it at that though. If you by chance had an opportunity to try this coffee or anything from Hex, would actually really love to know your thoughts and impressions of it and them especially as well. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This right here has been a review of the Danny Moreno Honey Processed Honduras from Hex Coffee Roasters. Thank you for watching.